First off, apologies for the uh, different uh, intro music. I never planned to make a second video, so I was a genius and since then reformatted my computer <clears throat> and got rid of everything. <laughs> so I'm starting everything from scratch. Thankfully, I used Canva for the intro uh, video part, and that's great. Uh, I also had a backup of the thumbnail, um, so that saved me some time as well, but the music is different. I can't find the original music, and I won't make the same mistake again. I'll keep this stuff if I make other videos. I uh, just wanted to explain that because it is different than the first one, and I mean, quite honestly, I didn't expect five people to watch this, let alone a few hundred, so thanks everyone, and just wanted to uh, say that. Um, I wanted to post a follow-up uh, just for two reasons. The first is... Uh, just uh, giving people sort of a mini experience uh, for running Starfield on this 4080 G14. Um, just to uh, get rid of all the suspense and, and not to uh, dink you guys around. Um, I'm running it at ultra settings, uh, but shadows and contact shadows dialed down to medium. Uh, it's running at 1440p because I'm uh, currently running it on... Uh, an Asus, uh, I can't remember the model name, PG32XG or something, uh, XG32PG, I don't know. It's a 32-inch uh, 1440p monitor. Um, but I don't expect the numbers to be very different between that and the 1600p screen native to the laptop. Um, but anyways, I'm running it at pretty much ultra settings uh, and uh, am topping out you know, anywhere from about 50 to 70 FPS. Uh, I do find that um, I don't lose a lot of visual detail going down to high settings uh, and it runs uh, a bit smoother around uh, 70 to 90 FPS. So I just keep it at high uh, for the most part. But this is capable of running the game at 1440p, absolutely ultra settings maxed out uh, at a reasonable, reasonable frame rate. Um, I did notice something about this laptop and this game and i'll have a couple of caveats in here this laptop with the settings i have in my previous video it can handle any game you throw at it without any thermal issues whatsoever it never gets to 80 degrees it always stays between the high 60s and the high 70s uh starfield brings this laptop to its knees from a thermal perspective so what i was noticing was at ultra settings and even high settings, if I was just using my Razer Chroma stand, so just basically elevating the laptop off the desk so it had room to breathe, uh, my temperatures were hitting the low to mid 80s uh, for CPU and the high 70s for GPU. And I know that that is normal and people would say, oh, that's totally fine for this laptop. It was designed to run that way in terms of temperatures. Uh, but what I was finding was running the game at those sustained temperatures for um, an extended period of time. And this also happened with Forza Horizon 5. Uh, and by extended period of time, I'm saying a few hours. The laptop would shut itself off for thermal protection. And I'd have to wait like 15 minutes to boot it back up. Um, and what I discovered was, number one dialing the settings the graphic settings in starfield specifically down to medium the temperatures stayed high 60s they never they barely hit 70 or low 70s i've never seen a game that affects the thermals of a laptop as much as starfield does i don't know if it's missing optimizations or something else is uh is going on there but uh, Starfield really affects the thermals of a laptop. So if you have the G14 uh, 4080 or I would imagine 4090 as well, um, if you don't want to deal with any kind of shenanigans related to undervolting and all of that stuff, uh, if you run it at medium settings, you're never going to hit any thermal issues. I don't want to recommend that because you spent money on it, just like myself, you spent money on a laptop with a 4080 or a 4090, I don't want to have to make 
any um any concessions related to that so i refuse to run it at anything lower than high settings um that being said i i picked up an i, I don't know how to pronounce it if it's ietz or iets or iets whatever it's an iets gt300 laptop cooling stand i think this one is branded kiato uh, and at first I thought I was getting scammed when I was ordering it, but I found out that it's the exact same thing. It's just rebranded. There's a few different brands that use that name uh, or this chassis design. Um, and I found that the temperatures are reduced significantly to the high 60s to mid 70s uh, on higher ultra graphic settings. So uh, this is kind of a separate conversation entirely, but the IATS GT300 and I imagine the IATS GT500 I would not recommend a laptop stand unless it's one of those two because it it's the real deal. It makes a significant like 10 to 15 degree difference. Um, so, and I was worried about this model too because both the IATS GT300 and GT500 have this, uh, they have a seal, a rubber seal. And the idea is that it forces air into your bottom vents. But with the G14, Everyone knows when you raise the lid, the chassis design raises the body off of the ground. So it creates kind of a gap at the back of the IATS. Um, uh, and I thought, oh, the air is going to escape from there. It's not going to be as good, but it just, it works so well. Uh, so really take that into consideration. Um, this stand makes a huge difference. I would have preferred just using the Razer Chroma just because it looks good. But I mean... I, I can't argue with those uh, with those thermal results. The other thing I would say is um, it may very well be because I was an idiot. Um, oh, when I first got this laptop and I was toying with the uh, the higher wattage V BIOSes, I thought, well, I can pick up a 280 watt uh, power supply that's 40 watts better than the 240 watt that came with the laptop. And that extra 40 watts would give headroom for more wattage. Uh, number one, this laptop does not use the extra wattage no matter what you do, unless you start fiddling around with MSI afterburner and all that stuff. And I just didn't want to do that. Um, but what I'm thinking is perhaps my shutdown issues were because of that different power supply. Even though it plugs in, it fits fine, the system recognizes it fine, um, maybe that was causing issues. At that higher power draw, it just cacked out and something happened. So I'm going to continue running the game at max settings with the standard 240 watt power supply that came with the laptop to see if I run into those issues again. Um, so that's kind of what I was discovering. I don't know if, if anyone, if, if any of you have a GT, GT, a G14, 4080 or 4090, um, and you're running Starfield or any other game, if you're running into similar issues of thermal shutdown in the low 80 degrees, uh, please let me know or comment here. Um, I don't like, again, it could very well be because I was using a different power supply that I shouldn't have been using. Uh, I'm going to stick to the 240 watt for a while and see if that replicates the issues. But uh, as it stands, I think just for my own uh, mental health, I'm going to continue using the, the IATS GT300. Uh, it works really, really well. It's huge. It takes up a lot of space on the desk, so it's not the sexiest thing in the world. But um, if I want my investment to last a while, I feel far more comfortable with you know, mid seventies temperatures for CPU versus mid eighties at sustained load. Again, I know this thing can handle up in the high nineties without any issues and it was designed to do so, but I just get really uncomfortable with that. Um, I did purchase the extended warranty. So I have another, you know, almost two years of warranty for this, but that doesn't mean I want to cook it and then have to send it in for RMA because God knows what happens when, asus gets their hands on an rma um there's always you know i'm always worried about that sort of thing but anyways uh just to summarize laptop runs starfield at max settings without breaking a sweat i'm sure other 4080 laptops do it better because they have more wattage 
but for a 14 inch laptop that's thin and light and beautiful uh, i'll take this performance any day of the week um, if you have any other questions or or thoughts you know check out my original video that goes over undervolting uh and adjusting the fan curve and the overclocks and what i'm finding with this laptop uh so that'll give you a good basis for uh, everything that I've talked about in this video. Uh, but if you have questions specific to, you know, the shutdown issue or the thermals or the performance settings in Starfield or any other game, uh, just shoot me a question or, or a comment. Um, I, I love this sort of stuff. So I'm, if you, you'll probably notice in my previous video, I'm very responsive whenever you guys make a, ask a question or put a comment in there. Uh, I jump on it and give you my thoughts. They're not always right. I'm not going to pretend I know everything. And I'm sure there are people who are more experienced and knowledgeable who know a lot more about this stuff than I do. I'm just going over my personal experiences. And um, aside from that, uh, just totally unrelated, but what's well, kind of related, but not related to the hardware. Uh, whatever things you're reading online uh, or hearing on TikTok or Instagram or anything about negativity towards starfield whether it's that uh, it sucks that you can't fly anywhere or you can't walk around an entire planet um i i don't know what to tell you but the, anyone complaining about that is an idiot uh it's an awesome game it's an awesome game it's a bethesda game so it you know you're you're it's not if you want something that's completely open and 100% exploration with very little to no story, uh, Star Citizen's great, uh, No Man's Sky is great. Uh, even though they look similar, I feel that those are very different games. I've played No Man's Sky, and it's a great game. I just... there the, the story wasn't enough to keep me interested for too long. It was a very heavy emphasis on resource gathering and and building and researching and i just i lost interest pretty quick if there's no actual story to keep me enthralled um and maybe i missed something but i mean at least starfield has a story and if you are playing starfield once you get about eight or nine hours in and you're well into the main storyline uh it gets pretty compelling and you I, i'm really enjoying it so uh yeah just uh ignore the negativity I'll just give it a try if you have xbox game pass which is the best bargain in the history of humankind uh you play it for free i think it's coming out now for free if you didn't get the early access uh just try it please try it it's friggin awesome um and yeah uh if you guys have any uh i forgot to mention this if there are any games that you want to see performance wise on this uh let me know i'll install it and run it and take some video to show you performance like fps and stuff like that um yeah i mean i uh, i i'm gonna be playing cyberpunk again pretty soon because of the liberty uh exp expansion coming out uh space marine 2 is coming out in november and that's gonna be awesome i'm gonna try that as well uh but i also play things like civilization 6 and stellaris and all sorts of goofy crap so uh if you want to see a particular game uh just out of curiosity let me know and i'll post a video of uh, the, the performance and the settings I used. All right, till next time, take care and uh, yeah, have fun gaming. Mm -hmm.